Hey everyone, this is Dieworm and today I want to make a video about the top 5 resources that beginners can use in Last Epoch. I am using these resources often still as well. Enjoying Last Epoch content? Consider subscribing. Here are 5 resources of information that should really help you as a beginner to get a much better understanding of the game. Before we start, I'm streaming on twitch.tv slash dieworm every Monday, Thursday and Saturday 8pm Central European time. We are running a very beginner friendly stream over there and I will help you out with any questions you might have. And for this video all the resources are linked in the description down below. So at number 5 we have the Last Epoch Forum. The forum is a great source of information and you will find various insights on a wide range of topics. Builds, bugs, lore, it's all there. You can ask your questions and you will find that Last Epoch has a very helpful community with some standout members that are on the forum day and night it seems. Beginner questions are answered quickly and thoroughly or you will be referred to another post. The forum is divided into several sections and most members keep those in mind which helps you narrow down the search. The main issue with the forum, and that is true with any forum, is that it is easy to lose sight of what is available. There are some excellent posts, but they are just buried in other posts. When you're trying to find something, the search functionality exists, but that is about it. When reporting bugs, I have the same issue. I don't want to scroll down for 10 minutes to figure out if someone else reported the same bug, so I just create a new post. You may run into similar difficulties in the forum. I'll make sure to link a few articles that I have found extremely useful on the forum down below. Besides this, forums are simply not for everyone, which is why we have some other options too. A quicker version of the forum is the Last Epoch Discord. There you can quickly ask your questions and you'll have your answer in minutes from community members or the devs. Then, number 4. The Last Epoch Wiki. Yes, this game has their own wiki page on Gamepedia and here you find various topics as well. The layout takes a bit getting used to in my opinion, but once you spend some time over here, there are plenty of useful sections. Let me show you a few. There there is the items section which lists the items. There are better web pages for this however. There's a lot of information on crafting as well which is super useful. You can find how shards, runes and glyphs work. The classes, masteries and all their skills can be found here as well. Mostly though I use this for two things. One, an explanation of game mechanics. If you're not sure what you should look for to make a bleed build work, you just have to go to the search bar, type bleed and you get a page telling you what skills with bleed, how it works and how it can be used super useful. Some of the game mechanics really aren't all that intuitive, so a wiki like this clears up a lot of confusion. All the formulas and calculations are present as well, should you want to go big brain on the math. The second thing I really like about the wiki are the lore pages. You can find a lot of background information on Last Epoch. It's World Etera, the Titans, the Gods, the different eras, the characters and the uprising of the void that destroys everything. I love reading all the small intricate details and stories. It helps me immerse myself into the world. It helps me understand the game a lot better from a narrative perspective and in the end the whole experience becomes a lot more enjoyable I feel with additional knowledge and bits of lore. It is not for everyone but if you want this the wiki is the best place to be. At number 3 we have the in-game game guide recently implemented in patch 0.7.8. First of all let me acknowledge how amazing it is that the devs are implementing something like this. Plenty of established games just send you to an external web page but not this early access game. It is a terrific resource of information because with a single button you'll have access to vast amounts of game knowledge. It contains a lot of info already but not as much as the wiki as of now. Still it is a lot easier to access and clear and concise in most cases and it's nice to have a resource like this available at hand. At the moment in my opinion the game guide explains some difficult game concepts in a very straightforward way and I believe some more examples and more lengthy explanations would be better. I have to read the descriptions sometimes multiple times and I already know this stuff. I feel a bit more of a narrative may benefit this in-game guide but then again it's also personal preference because I like a more narrative style of creating stuff as I'm sure you've noticed by now if you watched some of my videos. Still I'm not 100% convinced you're going to be able to understand how crafting works as a beginner from reading these few paragraphs. It's just implemented 
however, so expect some significant additions to this system. In terms of content, that's true as well. The bleed example I gave on the wiki cannot be found over here yet. The section on the game and combat mechanics is excellent, however, and really worth reading and trying to understand. It makes creating your own builds so much easier. On to number two, the last epoch item database. This website is basically what you think it is. It provides an overview of all items in the game and as this is a loot driven action RPG that is an important resource to have. A big incentive to play this game is loot and this website lets you know what is out there. It is always up to date, it has a super nice layout, it's beginner friendly, overall it's just an excellent resource. On the left side you can select a category, for example helmets, and then you can use the filters below the search bar to filter the results. If you want to only see unique helmets helmets, toggle that filter. It provides an overview and displays the roles and affixes as well as the rarity of that unique. This way you know how hard it is on average to find it. Set items are available and legendaries as well, but the game doesn't have those yet. The base item section is useful too, for example to see what the level requirements are for dropping an item. This works in a very similar way for all other gear, and there is a crafting section as well. You have an overview of the runes, glyphs, and all of the affix shards too, that could be useful if you want to know on which items you can craft vitality for example. You use the search bar, you type in vitality, and you scroll down to the affix shard which then shows you the items it can be applied to. Another very useful way to use this website is to see the various tiers. Look at Vitality again. You can see it is a prefix and you can see which roles are possible within each tier. For Vitality it is pretty straightforward, but take something like minion damage and you see a much bigger range in roles. This shows you the default tiered values, but if you scroll down you also see how these scale on various items. You see it depends on which items you apply affixes because some items have crafting multipliers. The last epoch item database shows you this. On one handed weapons it is applied at 1.5 times the effectiveness, meaning you can get 50% more minion damage on a weapon. On two handed weapons it is even 2.7 times effectiveness. Amazing resource really. And at number one, the best resource in my opinion for your everyday last epoch stuff which is Tongue Lab. It is super clean, it's super nice, it contains super much info. Starting with the equipment, you have the affixes here once more, but then in a spreadsheet layout with panels you can expand to see which items these apply to. It is an amazing overview really. Go to items and you see the affix modifiers I spoke about, which is just good to know. In the crafting forge you can theory craft items. In the gear planner you can theory craft an entire build in terms of gear, apart from the idols. I use this a lot in my build guys, these days. I just manually insert my items and get the link which I then paste into my descriptions. It helps people get a much better understanding of the gear I am running. You can also go through the stats you would have with these items and this can be used to convey information about existing builds like I do as well as trying to create a gear overview for your build that you yet have to make. The classes section just gives you a breakdown of the classes and the skills. The defense section is extremely useful as well. Even if you don't understand the math, you should be able to read these graphs. Here you see that dodge chance declines the higher level area you're in. That's good info to have. You can change the dodge rating and see how it impacts this curve. It's nice, right? The other panel is more useful though, I find. You can select your area level, let's say level 80, and then you can look at the graph to see how much dodge rating you need to reach 70% dodge. At level 80, that is about 1600 dodge rating. Once again, if you want to go for a dodge build, you now sort of know what to aim for. You can also see the diminishing returns when it comes to dodge. You need to invest more and more in order to get a 5% increase in dodge. It is not linear as should be clear by looking at this graph. And the dodge cap is 80%, it tells you that as well. For ward calculation, you have another page. This is like pretty difficult though, but you can use the sliders to the right to indicate what values you have on your character and then look at how the numbers change. It's a bit much for this video to go into this, but it's good to know that it exists. There's more though, because there is the mechanics section with, for example, ailments. It's a great overview of all ailments, whether they stack or not, the damage type, their base damage, and this can be used to figure out
figure out how to increase the damage of ailments. There are lists of all the monsters and monolith modifiers in case you are wondering what deadly actually means on a monster. You can find all of that over here. And then there is the monolith of fate and arena overview with modifiers that basically show you how the arena changes in difficulty over time, how much more damage monsters do at higher waves and how health and movement speed is impacted. Finally, the quest section gives an overview of the quests and their rewards. You can see if there is a passive point reward or idle slot reward, in which case you definitely want to do the quest or if the quest just provides gold and XP and then you can skip it if you want without really any consequences. Without a doubt, Tongue Club is one of the best last epoch resources out there at the moment. I hope you enjoyed the video ladies and gents and that it was useful. Thanks for watching guys and girls, making it to the end and I will see you soon. Bye bye.